guys, <clears throat> Charlie D'Amelio is really out here upsetting a lot of people. <clears throat> and I don't think she can get out of this one. Hey, loves, your girl is back again with a lot of extra hot tea to spill for you guys. Anyone who uses the term tea to describe some type of drama, some type of issue, to describe any type of event should be burned at the stake. I would like to believe that I have a good amount of patience. Uh, I could put up with a lot of just thick accents or just the way that someone talks and I could still just have a normal conversation with them. But if you say shit like period or T or sis, uh, that, that, that's where I'm gonna have to draw the line. Uh, imagine having a, a conversation with someone else and they say a statement and after that they say period. There's only one appropriate reaction to have after that. Friendly fight inbound. In today's recap, we're gonna be talking about Charlie D'Amelio receiving backlash for still partying during a pandemic. Dixie D'Amelio getting dragged for leaving her ex-boyfriend when she got famous. Kenzie Ziegler getting called ugly after being compared to her sister Maddie. You will definitely be blown away with the tea that I'm about to spill, so let's get right into it. So let me get this straight, my cock's about to be blown away with the tea that you're about to spill. Because one, a girl gets called ugly on the internet, two, a girl has relationship issues, and three, uh, another girl has relationship issues. As sad as the reality is, I don't think my cock's gonna get blown away by your tea, by you, or anyone else if the main thing you have to say is a girl getting called ugly on the internet. At this point, I'm not even surprised that Charlie attended another party, since it seems like no influencer is learning their lesson. Imagine setting this example for your family. Anyways, you guys, unfortunately, many huge TikTokers are still throwing and attending a lot of parties during this pandemic. And, well, this new party that happened a few days ago got a lot of TikTokers in trouble, including Charlie D'Amelio, Nikita Dragon, and Madison Beer. Okay, so a TikToker goes to a party and doesn't social distance. What is up with the fucking battle music like you're going into war? Who are we fighting? Who are we going into war with? Is it Iraq? Is it Cuba? What is this music? Like, I get the problem. I'm definitely not supporting these TikTokers being irresponsible by going to parties. But what the fuck is this music? That, that, that just automatically makes yourself just look like a dumbass if you're talking about anything. Uh, imagine I just start talking about any type of subject and some World War III battle action music starts to come on in the background. It automatically just makes your point dumb. Hey guys, this Anna Oop girl, she's really unfunny. She really thinks she's funny when she says statements like, and... Um, and elongates her words, but she just sounds fucking stupid, and she should stop. Like, you realize how stupid it sounds? When I'm talking about someone else, when I'm critiquing someone else, and some action music is going on in the background? No one's going to war, no one's getting shot. We're talking about some TikTokers going to parties. Let's relax. There's yet another girl who now thought it was a good idea to expose Dixie by claiming she broke up with her ex-boyfriend the second she became famous. Just take a look at this. Dixie D'Amelio should have stayed with Matt. He was loyal to her, but she broke up with him when she became famous. Who gives a shit. Am I at a fifth grade girl's lunch table? Who cares about a TikToker who's 17 year old, 16 year old TikToker's relationship? Like you're telling me people are really invested in this? How many views this gets? 760k? Jesus Christ. I will never understand someone being so invested in someone else's relationship where, where they don't even know the person. Like, I would understand, like, you know what, the Chris Brown situation, if some dude's beating his fucking wife, yeah, that's a little bit entertaining, I would want to know about that. But some random girl, like, breaking up with her boyfriend online? Like, are, are we serious? To be honest, guys, this topic is honestly ridiculous, but we should really put an end to people calling Kenzie ugly and comparing her to her sister Maddie. It's getting very weird lately. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Kenzie and Maddie, but you probably know that like any other influencers, they struggle a lot on social media, with some of it being because Kenzie keeps getting attacked for being inferior to Maddie. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. Like, what is the point in an edit like that? Is What is the meaning behind that? Is that to be funny? Is that to make someone giggle at home? Is that to uh, increase the audience retention of people watching? Like, what is that edit doing? If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Just 
recently, an Instagram user decided to describe Kenzie's face as puke on her IG live. Kenzie's face is puke. Oh. I didn't report that. that. Whoever said that, literally get off the live right now before I report you. You've got to be fucking joking. Ah, uh, haha, your face looks like puke. <laughs> Anyways, the situation didn't really end there. It later turned upside down and became very serious after Kenzie decided to make another comment about the situation, which had many people feel bad for her. Here's what she had to say. To everyone saying that I'm trying to make Maddie feel guilty, I have always been compared to her since I was little. But that comment was implying that I was ugly compared to her. I am very insecure, so of course seeing comments like that get to me. Sorry for giving the wrong impression. Jesus Christ, my sister is hotter than me. Go cry about it, god damn. How are you above the age of 16 and still crying about how your sister is hotter than you? And does this Anna Oop channel really expect us to show some type of sympathy for a TikTok star who makes thousands of dollars at an insanely young age for being called ugly on the internet? What a fucking joke. If she's breaking down over one person calling her ugly on an Instagram live, imagine what she would do if she got my comment section. <laughs> But yeah, that video sucked massive cock. Next one, this is our most popular video. Charlie D'Amelio just ended Jace. Yeah, another video about someone else's relationship. A 15 year old, 16 year old's relationship, ladies and gentlemen. We've peaked. Nice, I'm one second in and I already see some kids making out. That's a mic one. I just want Chase to come down here. I just want to talk about it like man. Welcome to TikToker Geddon. And what's with the horror movie dramatic intro? We're talking about a 16 year old's relationship. Let's pipe the fuck down. Y'all, Lil Huddy literally cheated on Charlie D'Amelio and the TikTok world is up in flames right now. Oh look guys, she's mad. Look, you, you could tell by her bitmoji. Actually, let me let me give this a try. And yes, before I get any questions, my bitmoji is black because making my bitmoji black is one step forward to ending racism. But let's give this a go. Hey guys, my name is Lyrix. I found this shitty YouTube channel called Anna Oop, where she's not funny, she's not creative, and she's fucking cringe. So I'm really mad right now, as you can tell by my bitmoji, because she sucks massive cock. Today we got in our agenda of things to talk about today is a 15 year old's relationship. That's pretty cool. Oh, a 16 year old's relationship. Oh, that's pretty dope. And uh, another 15 year old making out with someone else uh, for the news today. That, that, that's the news I report on for millions and millions of views. And before I get told in the comment section that I'm just jealous, um, of, of course I'm fucking jealous. Y y you you aren't? I'm specifically making this video because I am jealous. Hey loves, your girl is back with the biggest drama of the year this time. And let's just say Charlie is over, Lil Huddy, for good. But Chase is not going down without a fight. Anyways, let's bring it back to how all of this- <laughs> She put a fucking nuke! <laughs> She put a fucking nuke about some two 16 year olds breaking up. We've peaked a society, ladies and gentlemen. A goddamn nuke. What a disgrace. A few months ago, y'all probably know about the cheating scandals that happened and how Charlie ended her relationship with Chase because of Nessa. You'll also probably know what happened after that, from diss tracks to Josh and Bryce publicly exposing Chase for trying to get with Nessa. Now y'all, here's where TikToker getting really begins. Yeah! I don't think that meme was accurately done. Let, let, let me redo it my way. Everyone watching this video. Chase and Charlie were actually rumored to be back together after they started making TikToks together again and started literally wearing each other's clothes. After this, everything was great and it seemed like they were actually happy again. Until... I'm unironically starting to get really mad at these fucking uh, over-exaggerated words. What is the point? What is the point? As I said with the other edits before with the swiggly voice and shit, what is that adding? Is it, is it comedy? Is, is that what we're doing? Other than the quirky, silly persona of, hey guys, look, I don't speak English properly. I elongate my sentences 
to make myself look different. Other than that factor, what is it doing? What, what, what is it doing for the video? It was revealed that Chase actually went behind Charlie's back again and kissed Nessa. Y'all, I literally can't believe this. You can't believe that a teenager kissed another teenager behind another teenager's back? Wow. Here's an example of something I can't believe, that people actually watch your fucking videos. And let's just say Charlie was furious and decided to unfollow both Chase and Nessa on Instagram, as well as throwing them some major shade to Lil Huddy with two posts that say, your loss. I hope she was worth it. Yes, Charlie. Go off, queen. Yeah, that's it. By the end of this video, if you don't think Anna Oop is cringe, then I'm sorry to break the news to you. You yourself are fucking cringe. And that's one of the eight deadly sins, so good luck in life.